everyone welcome back to another video from the bathroom of our rv as usual because this is the only place in our house that i can sit in kind of peace and quiet not really if you're new here welcome to the channel my name is danny and my family of five and i and two dogs live in a rv full time we do have two bathrooms two bedrooms all kinds of fun stuff in here but it is a little cramped we only have about 300 square feet so i do record from my beautiful shower curtain in our second bathroom as always i look absolutely horrible so you don't have to go writing in the comments ah, that i look horrible i know i look horrible because i have been having quite a week already so Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and also leave us a comment down below. Let's go. So if this is your first time seeing one of my Run Disney videos, this is week two of marathon training. I don't know what possessed me to do this. I don't know what is going on, but my friend and I decided that we are going to try to train for the Run Disney marathons. Neither one of us can run. Both of us have asthma but whatever we're gonna try anyways i'm not gonna lie for me this kind of came down to this whole thing of that i just had three kids in two years and eight months my oldest is five my youngest is two and a half and i don't have any time to myself while i am a full-time content creator and i make most of my money online um making content obviously um that does take up a lot of my time before the kids wake up before the kids go to bed during the day and being a full-time mom I have to take care of them all day long as well as feed them, clean the RV, take the dogs out, get all of her groceries, like everything, right? Um, my husband's job is kind of whacked out. Uh, his schedule is really, really crappy. So he works really late into the night and he starts before noon. So I only have him for a little bit during the early morning time and then he's basically gone all day. Um, so I don't really have a lot of free time to just go out and do things for me. So we started this whole journey by getting a Gold's Gym membership, primarily because they have a kids club. So it was something that I could do after my friend got off work and we could both go together, bring our kids, drop them off at the kids club. Our kids could play together and then we could just take an hour or two to ourselves to watch a TV show while we're on a bike or walk on the treadmill and listen to some music or do whatever we wanted to do. And then also after that, we could take a shower, which um, the showers are much nicer and bigger than like this. This is how big this bathroom is. This is how big the shower is. Uh, we do have two showers. One's a standing shower. This one is a tub, but it's not very big. It does get kind of hot, but maybe for like 10 or 15 minutes. I actually like these showers better than our old house that we had. Um, I like them better than that, but the ones at Gold Gym are huge and tiled and amazing and they're hot and they never run out of water and somebody else is watching my kids. So I get a nice quiet shower. You know, if I can shave my legs while I'm in the shower, like that is a mommy win right there. So we decided to get the Gold's Gym membership to basically have free mommy time for a little bit. Of course, this wasn't all entirely about just getting some quiet time. We chose to do something like this at the gym because it allowed us to like work on ourselves and do something for ourselves as well, where I wanted to work on like my leg muscles and everything. I'm not really concerned about working on losing weight or anything like that. I used to do dance and gymnastics and I coached color guard and I was a choreographer and all kinds of things and the pandemic hit and that all went away. So I lost all of my exercise and all of my physical ability basically. And I could feel my body was getting weak. So we decided that we were gonna go do the gym. So this was a couple months ago. We've been kind of going back and forth on the bikes and I never really got on the treadmill or anything. Every once in a while we would do some like minor weightlifting, but we just kind of took it easy. And then we just decided on a whim one day, like we'd really like to do the Disney marathons. So why don't we try training on the treadmill? Which I thought was gonna be a really horrible idea because well, I have really bad asthma and me and getting on a treadmill and running and doing really any type of cardio just has never mixed very well. But I said, hey, let's try it. Let's go ahead and do it. And then I saw that Run Disney opened up registration for the April 3rd Tower of Terror 10 miler. And I was like, oh, $200 to sign up for it. I'm going to go ahead and sign up. I don't, I don't know why I've done this to myself. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know that I'm going to finish it on time. You have to keep up a 16 minute mile for the entire duration or shorter than that, basically. Um, and I don't know if I can do that, but I signed myself up and it, that is kind of my motivating force to keep myself going right now. So 
that's kind of where we're at. We are trying to possibly do the challenge in November, which would be the 10K and the half marathon, and we might add on the 5K. And then in January, uh, I think, uh, I don't know if she's going to, but I think I'm going to try to do the Dopey Challenge. It's just, it's hard to decide what to do because the Dopey Challenge to sign up is like $600. And it's like, I don't want to sign up for the Dopey Challenge and waste $600 to find out that I can't even do six miles in the 10K, let alone doing 26 miles in the full marathon. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, that leads us on to where we're at now, and this is my week two update. So in week one, I was trying to just do one mile, just get through the one mile, and then walk off a little bit of time if I needed to. It wasn't that long of a time to do one mile, so as long as you keep up with the uh, required time for Run Disney, you'll finish that mile in at least 16 minutes, which left me with a lot of time still at the gym. So we would either just walk a little bit or like get on the bikes or do some stretching or something like that and just kind of eat up some time at the gym. So I did not expect myself in week one to get through a full mile at all. I was hoping that I could run like day one that I could get through like 25% of the mile and then maybe by the end get through 50% of the mile running or jogging or something like that and just maintain that 16 minute mile, which in school when you have to do like the mile fitness test, that's probably where I was. I was at like 15, 16 minutes because that was really, that was as much as I could push myself without causing myself to have an asthma attack. That was pretty much all I could do. So I don't know if it was adrenaline. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's because we had been doing like some mild cardio on the bikes for a couple months prior to this, but I ended up running a full mile, a full, like, the whole thing start to finish I ran the whole thing on week one I blew myself away I don't know what I did so at that point I was feeling pretty confident that I could probably do the 10 miler because if I finished a one mile and it was like 13 minutes and 20 seconds or something like that 13 minutes and something at least I was already ahead by three minutes on the first mile and as long as I kept up a really good like walking pace then I knew that I would be okay and I obviously wouldn't walk the last nine miles of this 10 mile run so I felt like I would be okay. So I'm, I'm excited for my 10 mile run. Now, week two was buckets of fun because I was visited by a special aunt that causes feminine problems. Um, if you know, you know. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. I am on medication, so that does not happen because when that happens, it causes a lot of problems for me um, that could include sending me to the hospital. So that's not supposed to happen, which made that week really difficult, <laughs> really difficult. Um, mostly due to really extreme cramping um, and just being generally uncomfortable, migraines, exhaustion. But I pushed through and I actually did beat my times. So on Monday, um, I still managed to get through the mile, but here's the thing. I figured since I got through one mile, one mile wasn't going to be good enough in week two at this point. If I could run a full mile and keep up with that, or even half half of a mile or 75% of a mile, then I needed to do more than one mile a day because that's not going to work. In the long run, I need to work up from that. And by the time you get to a marathon, you should be running like 30 or 35 miles a week. So right now I was at three miles a week. That's... We're gonna up that up a little bit. So I decided that since I got through a full mile of running, I'm just gonna start doing a 5K run every time I'm at the gym, which is 3.1 miles. So I was going to track my first mile, my second mile, my third mile, and then I was just gonna walk the remaining 0.1 to get to the 3.1 and just kind of see where I was at. On Monday, these were my times, and I'm actually pretty proud of them considering how I was feeling. Monday, I wasn't feeling the worst. It started getting worse throughout the week, but I still try to push through. So Monday, we did manage to get through 3.1 miles, which was really good. I was very proud of myself, and I like the fact that I was beating that 16-minute mile requirement. On Wednesday, these were my times. I was feeling really, really bad at that point. I'm still proud of them because I pushed through and I still managed to get a really good time. At least I think it was a really good time for me anyways. And 
really the average time for somebody in a 5k like the the broad general average is 40 minutes so to me i'm pretty close to that and that makes me feel good about it and then on friday these were my times and i kind of switched things up a little bit i've kind of experimenting a little bit with running the first mile and then walking maybe the second mile like the first half of the second mile and then running another 25 percent and walking the last 25 percent of the the second mile i don't know anyway i'm trying to switch it up with that maybe like walk the whole second mile and then run as much of the three mile as i can the problem is is that i don't want to burn myself out too much so i'm really worried about pushing too hard in the beginning and then being too tired to finish so i'm trying to kind of balance that out and we'll see how it goes now in week three since i am making it through the 3.1 miles and i'm feeling pretty good after it even though i felt really crappy that week after i did them i didn't really feel bad like my muscles weren't really hurting i didn't feel like overly exhausted or like i worked too hard so in week three we are going to push it up to four miles and maybe depending on how that goes maybe try five miles but because of the time restraints i have while i'm at the gym and my kids are being watched i don't know that i can fit in five miles or go further than five miles at that point i'm thinking i might have to either try to get in when danny is here in the morning and maybe go to the gym that's on our resort here at the rv park they have a gym there and i can always go to that gym and maybe do two hours there and not necessarily two hours right off the bat but maybe like push it to six miles which would probably get me you know somewhere closer to maybe an hour and 20 minutes or something like that just more than an hour which is kind of really all i have um just because i have to drop the kids off check them in then i have to like get changed run go take a shower pick the kids up so i don't really have a whole lot of time i can probably push it to an hour and a half there and take like a really really quick shower and like rush to get the kids and everything um, but we'll see. So I might try to push it up to five miles at the end of week four, but definitely going to be doing four miles at week four. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how week four goes. Um, Amanda and I will be going together on Monday and then I think she's at Disney on Wednesday and then hopefully we'll be able to go on Friday as well. So we will be uploading these videos on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you check those out. This one is going to be late because we just made that decision. But anyway, go check out her video as well. I'll leave her link in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.